Hi everyone, thanks for listening to my presentations. Today I'll be talking about pre-metomy. The brand name for pre-metomy is the frame. A lot of people will be familiar with this, right? Primetomy belongs to the class of medications known as antiparasitics. It's a known anti-malaria agent, particularly for prophylaxis, and it's a folic acid antagonist. It could appear in tablet form as Zaraprim 25 mg or generic 25 mg. Administration should be administered with males to decrease gastrointestinal side effects like nausea and vomiting. Combinations. Primetomy is often combined with so many other drugs for treatment of many diseases. Primetomy could be combined with leucovarine, with dapsone, with sulfonamide, and when it is combined with sovadozine, is known as fancy. Uses of primetomy. Remember, I've just said when you combine primetomy with some other medications, you can use primetomy for a lot of cases, particularly in HIV positive patients, either for prophylaxis or for treatment. For example, in cystoisoporiasis in HIV, can use it for prophylaxis or for treatment. In pneumocystic gyrovesi pneumonia, formerly known as pneumocystic carinine pneumonia, in HIV, you can use primetomy for prophylaxis. Tosoplasmosis treatment in HIV, you can use it. Encephalitis with tosoplasmosis with without HIV, you can use it. In congenital tosoplasmosis with or without HIV, you can use it. Also, in stem cell transplant, when you are trying to have prophylaxis against osoplasmosis in hematopoietic stem cell transplant, you can use perimetomy. Adverse reactions. Cardiac arrhythmia. Stemmy Johnson syndrome. Toxic abdominal necrolysis. Erythema mortiforme. Atrophic anorexia, vomiting, hematuria, eosinophilic pneumonitis, and anaphylaxis. You can check my channel for aspiration pneumonitis. You have a clue as for pneumonitis with that. Contraindications. Hypersensitivity to primetomy or any component of the formulation. Don't give it. In the face of megaloblastic anemia, Due to antifolate effect of perimetomy, don't give it. Once the features are seen on peripheral blood smear is that of megaloblastic anemia. If you have not established whether it's due to vitamin B12 deficiency or folate deficiency, just be at silver end by not using it. But it will be better to have specific diagnosis whether you were dealing with vitamin B12 deficiency or folate deficiency. One, megaloblastic anemia is very possible. Remember, I've just said that primetomy is anti-folic acid. It's folic acid antagonist. Okay, so folate deficiency will lead to megaloblastic anemia. Pansatopenia, and we have to be cautious in patients with the probability of folate deficiency in case of malabsorption syndrome or the patient is on metotrexate, which is also an antifolate anyway, or is a person that booze a lot, alcoholic patients, the standard risk of folate deficiency coming down with megaloblastic anemia. So in such individuals, and having HIV, and you want to give perimetomy now to help them, either for prophylaxis or treatment of certain associated infections, I mean, toxoplasmosis and so on, be careful. You can, you know, 
run into trouble, but just have the complete block and peripheral smear done and know whether you are dealing with microplastic anemia or not and know the level of folate. In glucosis phosphate dehydrogenous deficiency, no me. You can check my channel for that. I have a full presentation on GCSPDD. In hepatic or renal impairment, keep it off. No me. Be careful in seizure disorders. Use with recovery to prevent folic acid deficiency. Oh, before talking about drug drug interaction, I remember that I mentioned recovering and I didn't say anything further. I have a full presentation on recovering already published on my channel here. Just type to the VCAM maps and then look for recovering there. There are about 492 presentations already published. You will see recovering there, particularly the importance as for you know, prevention of folic acid deficiency in the phase of metotrexate administration. Okay, blood drug interaction, there's no need to waste the time any further, just contact your pharmacist or your pharmacologist. The list is pretty long and I'm not, I don't know, ready to go into full details here. In pregnancy, we will not give primetomy in the phase of low folic acid. But if there is also plasmosis in pregnancy and you want to treat the toxoplasmosis in pregnancy with primetomy, then grab your folic acid uh, supplement. Okay. Um, in the first trimester of pregnancy, don't use primetomy at all. In breastfeeding mothers, know this. Primetomy can enter the breast milk. Discontinue breastfeeding if it is a must to use it in the breastfeeding mother. Monitoring. We have to monitor complete blood count and platelets every week or twice weekly. Peripheral blood smear and we are safe for all parameters, particularly when we know we might be dealing with pancytopenia and megaloblastic anemia. Examples of where primetomy is useful is cystoisoporosis treatment. And in that case, we give primetomy 75 mg per hour once daily with recovering caution. Check my channel for full presentation on recovering and how it is helpful when you administer metotrexate and now when you administer primetomy. In cystoisoporosis prophylaxis, primetomy 25 mg per hour once daily with recovering calcium will be helpful. So, it depends on your goal, treatment or prophylaxis, then the dosage will vary accordingly. In pneumocystis carini pneumonia, now known as pneumocystis juliversi pneumonia prophylaxis, you can use primetomy 50 or 70 mg every week with dapsone and recovering calcium. Or you give 25 mg per hour once daily plus atovacuan and recovering calcium. You can continue until the CD4 is greater than 200 cells for three months. In tussle, Plasmosis treatment, you can give 50 to 70 mg per hour once daily for three weeks, then reduce the dose to 25 to 37.5 mg for the next four to five weeks. Some may choose to add sulfonamide. Remember, sulfonamide also could decrease the folic acid synthesis, and they add that to recovering calcium, maybe when they are getting more effect of recovering calcium. Why some would rather choose to reduce the dose of the recovering calcium? Either way, discuss with your attending or your clinical pharmacologist or your pharmacist. With that, I come to the end of this short presentation. Primetomy is a very useful medication in the tropical world and also in advanced countries, particularly in HIV 
a positive patient and you need to help them overcome tostoplasmosis, hemocystic arena in the morning, hemocystic university in the morning, and so on. Remember to share, remember to subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you.